So this the lineup for the women's lightweight single skulls in which none of the women may exceed 59 kilos. Right on the far side, representing Spain in lane one, Maria Teresa Master Sasas Rivero. The defending champion, Marit van Oypen of Holland, goes from lane two in the traditional orange. Berit Caro represents Germany in lane three from Berlin. In lane four, Pamela Weishaupt trying to follow in the footsteps of Pia Vogel, twice a winner of this championship for Switzerland. Erika Bello coming back to uh, single sculling for Italy and closest to us will be the evergreen and tough and hard as old boots really Lisa Schlenker. There's no woman tougher in this final than the American who will be closest to you. In picture though Berit Caro 7.43 in the semi-finals. On paper, it would suggest that she has a gold Spain. medal chance. That may be the case, Canada. but they all start on equal terms. Germany. Switzerland. Italy. United States of America. Attention. Very quick start there by Berit Caro from uh, Germany. And uh, interestingly, even though she appeared to go before the bell, what happens when you put the blades in the water and draw on them, the boat actually goes backwards for a second. And in the old days, she would have been called back for a full start on that. But because the boat, the bow ball retreats from the start point before it starts moving forward and goes over it, um, the result is that she, that, that with the modern technology, they don't call them back because they know that they didn't actually cross the line before the bell went, so uh, the buzzer went. So in fact, she got, a, got away with that fast start and uh, is in uh, a strong lead at this stage. The strongest athlete in this event by a, by a street is Marie van Eypen from the Netherlands. The question for everybody, particularly the Netherlands uh, team management, is will she be at the races today or not? she has a most peculiar racing psychology that she will not get herself psyched up to go till some way into the race and then suddenly she will either get angry that somebody is ahead of her and decide that she's going to beat them which she will then do as setting a world record in Lucerne in 1999 or winning the world championships last year in Gifu or she'll decide oh no it's all much too much like hard, hard work and she'll just let it go. And she has some very, very variable results. And you never quite know which Marit van Oypen is going to turn up at the races. Well, there they are on the far side. That's where the race pace is. The bronze medalist from last year, De Sassas, on the far side. The gold medalist in the meat, uh, the meat in the sandwich with Berit Caro just uh, being uh, dropped back to third place. And on the near side from Spokane in the USA, three times a world silver medalist. And now at the age of 41, bidding for that elusive gold medal, finds herself currently in fourth place at the end of the first quarter. I'm talking about Lisa Schlenker. Indeed, but it is, in fact, that Van Eypen is quite clearly is at the races today. You can see that characteristic, um, beautifully efficient style. She's the strongest athlete. She's also the most efficient sculler here. And uh, she's decided that she's actually going to win this today, I think. Well, I would very much doubt that anybody can challenge her unless it comes quite soon because she's going to draw away. She's looking around to see how they're going. That little nod on the catch, which is a sort of characteristic, stylistic uh, quirk of hers. And uh, look at that boat. It's going beautifully through the rough water. She's very used to these conditions, um, training at home. And uh, I don't think she's going to be challenged seriously today. Berit Caro just about holding on to second place with Lisa Schlenker in cohort with Maria Masters as Rivero on the in one. Yeah, Marit van Oypen, uh, finally, if you remember, Hugh, and we were delighted. Finally, they got it right in the sense that with Kirsten van der Kolk in Athens, they finally came through to get that all-important Olympic medal. It was bronze on that occasion. But, you know, so often they flattered to deceive. Yes, she's also a difficult partner in a double, it has to be said. Um, and uh, as are so many single scholars. Um, we were talking yesterday about the slightly nutter quality that's required to be a single scholar. But if you're a lightweight woman, um, or a lightweight man for that matter, uh, you've got to find a partner. And uh, sometimes um, the personalities 
a more of a problem than the physique and you get great lightweight uh, single skulls champions like Peter Haining from Great Britain and uh, a lot of others who actually never find a doubles partner. Coming to the halfway stage, and Marit Van Oypen has opened up a decisive lead. Remember, they're all on the same terms. Benedict Caro now in just about third place, but I, I tell you, there's not much between the rest of the field for silver and bronze. If we're looking at the gold medal winner, the other five scholars here have got it all to play for there is silver and, pro and bronze are begging for someone but the further she goes the better she looks now marit van oypen she's sculling in a tailwind at 31 strokes a minute she's on reasonably stiff gearing and she's just drawing away and uh beric caro has uh, really shown a bit of guts because she had an interesting race with pamela weishaupt of switzerland in the um uh, early part of the, of the regatta and uh, she's clearly decided that she's got to get in front of her now and hold on because Weishaupt came through to take a place in the final with a late sprint in the semis and uh, she could be planning the same again today. Yes, Beric Caro, who uh, in Lucerne, which we always take as a bit of a pointer towards the World Championships each year, uh, she was in the lightweight double skulls, they finished seventh and uh, it was after that that she was uh, uh, sent to the uh, lightweight single skulls, if that's the correct way of saying it. Interestingly, I think that uh, Lisa Schlenker, who was in fourth place at 1,000 metres, has now dropped back a bit as a good race is developing between Weishaupt from Switzerland in lane four and Bello from Italy in lane five. Those two are slugging it out, trying to hold on to Caro and trying to hold on to Zaza uh, Rivero on the far side, and uh, they've squeezed uh, Lisa Schlenker out. But these are slow-moving boats. This is... Um, it's not a headwind, so you can't change pace in quite the same way, but there is a chance here for somebody who's within a length, and Schlenker is. Now, Erica Bello on the near side, who was racing for her country back in 1996 in Atlanta in the double skulls, but now in the lightweights as they come to 1,500 metres, and it is Holland leading Germany, Spain in third place, Italy fourth, then uh, Switzerland and the United States, I'm afraid. It's not going to be a medal for Lisa Schlenker, at uh, this regatta and uh, Marit van Oypen at the moment well it's hers to lose really Hugh well I can't think that she will um, you know she's, she's when, I, when I say that she's psychologically um, difficult to gauge it's because she doesn't seem to decide till quite well into the race whether she's going to win it or not but she seems to have made that decision now and I would be amazed if anything happened to, uh, to disrupt that and as it gets rougher uh, interestingly you can see something new here the BBG boat in which the German sculler Berit Karau is sculling there has a little bow ball extending from its stern and the reason for that is that they made BBG made a new hull design that was much shorter for lightweights and it's actually shorter than the FISA regulation length and they can't get their bows that's it you can see it in picture now just on the left hand side of your picture sticking out of the stern of Karau's boat the red boat the BBG boat and that's uh, a feature because it's a much shorter boat difficult in these conditions to control a short uh, short uh, hull so coming into the last 150 meters of the race and it's Marit van Oypen the defending lightweight singles world champion looking for double gold being pressed on the far side by Maria Teresa de Sassas Rivero and on her other side on her left hand side by Berit Caro the others really not able to get into this at all eight strokes to go to the line now for the orange vested Marit van Oypen born in Arnhem lives in Amsterdam at 36 years of age, another gold medal is coming her way. Barrett Caro, though, throwing down a real challenge. Two strokes to go to the line. She's going to get there, but it's been quite hard in the last quarter. But Holland, then Germany, then Spain, then Italy, and Switzerland, and finally the USA.